Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add the Firestone official radio. There are a few bugs, like some drop down, uh, drop down GUIs will not close, as shown on screen. Um, the keybinds are going to be Z and uh, another keybind I can't remember. It should be on screen now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead, um, open up Roblox Studio. Once you're waiting for Roblox Studio to open, go ahead and go into the description of the video. Find that one Roblox link and go ahead and open it. Once you opened it, go ahead and click Get and go from there. Go ahead, find My Games. Pick the game that you're going to be working on or create a new game. Open it up. Alright, once you've done that, you can go ahead and go into the tabs, click View. You can deselect everything, but you do want Toolbox, Properties, and Explorer open. So there's going to be a lot of scripts in this uh, in this version. You're going to need to learn how to do Teams um, and a lot of GUI stuff. So this is going to be a long one, but go ahead, after you've gotten that link and gotten that Roblox thing, go into Toolbox, Inventory my models get this phone that says radio on it and there you go so not everything again not everything is fully working so if you look in explorer you can go ahead and open up firestone radio go ahead and unit group each of these things into where it says so we're going to go ahead and do so i'm going to go ahead and speed it up you guys can do the same okay guys so for this on group and starter pack, there's a couple things. If you already have the team thing, um, you can go ahead and put uh, this phone in a certain team. Um, so if you want, if if you want, there's a link in the upper right, also in the description of the video. But this link right here, on the upper right of the screen, it's going to show you how to add uh, team only tools, so you can put this phone into a uh, certain team. Um, otherwise, for now, for testing purposes, you can leave it in starter pack, so control U. Alright, then you can go back into workspace, delete the Firestone radio model with nothing in it. Okay, after that, you're going to go ahead, um, you, you're going to want to open up a phone or a radio server. Next, you're going to want to, you can actually, you don't have to be in the radio server, you can go back to it. You're going to go model, you're going to go service and you're going to want to find uh, teams and you find it in here it's the only two things in here teams and click insert so now in explorer you should see the teams folder you can right click that a pop-up like this should come up find insert object you're going to want to find the team if you cannot find it right away just search T-E-A-M and it should come up right there All right. So we're gonna have uh, three te We're gonna have four teams. I'm gonna make this one. This one's going to be named Civ, Civ and it's going to be. Uh, we're gonna make it new Yeller, and it's auto assignable off. I'm gonna go ahead and make one law enforcement team, and then speed it up after that one law enforcement team for you guys to see. Oh, sorry, auto assignable on the Civ it needs to be on. So Control D that. You can name this one uh, Sheriff. That's what we're gonna name it. Okay, auto assignable is gonna be off, and pick a new color. Now I'm going to do the rest, and we're also we're going to do uh, two, one FBI. We're going to do one other law enforcement police, and then we're going to do, sorry, we're gonna do state police, and then we're also going to do, uh, we're also going to do fire department. So I'll go ahead and do that now and speed it up. All right, we have all of our teams set up. So next, we're going to go into uh, radio server. If you didn't X out of it, if you did, go ahead and just open it back up again. Um, so scroll down, right here. This is sheriff's office. S O sheriff's office. This is FBI. This is S P state patrol. This is D O T department of transportation. P S is park services. F D is 
Fire Department, NG is National Guard, CG is Coast Guard, DPW is Department of Public Works, not sure what TRN is, PST is, PS, I'm not sure what PST is and I'm not sure what ATC is, but um, SP is State Police and that's Park Services if I didn't say that. SP is State Police and PS is Park Services. So each one of these giant random numbers here, including that zero, these are all the images for each one of these places here. So you can change the image decal if you'd like. If you don't know how to do that, I'm not going to show it in this tutorial. But if you'd like to, you can change these decals. Um, I just leave them. If you're not going to change them, just leave them. Uh, I don't just just leave them. That's fine. Um, these are all your uh, whitelist words. So if any words tag in in the radio, you can do um, you can add more words here. So if you want to add a word, you just put a comma on the last one put in the thing I'm gonna just say test and then don't add a comma on the last one but if you if you want to add another one than that then you can do the same thing just the last one there should not have a comma so um after that these are your colors so PS is park services we don't have that one FD fire department so we're gonna go ahead and find that brick color so go back into teams find fire rescue or fire department and type in that color in the uh, quotation mark so it's going to be maroon okay that's going to be F FT so you know it's FD sorry so you know it's that one because it goes it goes it's else if player team color brick new color etc then it says then T equals FD so it's always the one under that um, FBI, uh, if you look in teams, it's going to be really black, so we'll go ahead and put that in. So, really black. And then just do that with the rest of your uh, teams, and I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here. Alright, you do not want to add uh, the sieve color to any of these, as sieve does not need a radio. Um... After that, so all these are in line with the uh, words up here, so don't change those at all. Um, if we go down more, it's just uh, phone stuff. It's just other stuff regarding the radio. So we're done in this one, so we can go ahead and close out of that. I'm just going to check something in game UIs real quick. Okay, yeah, there's no scripts in there, so you won't have to worry about replicated storage. Let me just double check the phone server. Yep, phone server is all good. You don't need to do anything in that, so you can go ahead and close server script service. Now, starter GUI, you need to go into the radio UI, radio client script. So these are your channels. So you have primary, TAC1, TAC2, prison, fire department, I'm not sure what that is, and ATC1. I'm pretty sure that's a air traffic control 1. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. So you just put in the the teams that you have, except for Civ or any ones that you don't want on the radio. Um, for certain channels, like if you want someone to have, say, if you wanted someone to be to have access to ATC one, do ATC one, and then you would have that team color right in here. So for fire department, you do want uh, the FD channel. So you're going to put the fire department one right here and fire rescue is maroon um, so we'll go ahead and put that in and right here this is uh, Firestone National Guard we don't actually has that have that as an active channel so you don't have to worry about that one and ATC one is an active channel so um, other than that we got to put in the rest of the team colors so I'll go ahead and speed run that real quick Okay, I have that done, so I'm just going to scroll down here, see if we have to do anything else. And that's going to be it now. So you can go ahead and close out of that script. And I'm going to double check the phone script. Nope, nothing that you need to worry about. So the phone does have a glitch where you can't view the directory. Um, that's a problem. You can't view who like the other numbers of other players. Um, you just need the profile ID number, and then you can call people that way. 
Um, the radio has the problem where the uh, side UIs don't shut off, they don't close. Um, the uh, radio also you can swear in call signs when you insert call signs you can swear so make sure you have active staff watching out for that. Um, as of right now those are the only problems that are really you know big things. So we're just going to go ahead and put down a spawn and we're going to make sure that anybody can spawn on this team. It's just going to be neutral so anybody can uh, or so you can be on any team. But we're also going to control D that. We're actually going to change that up. Sorry. We're going to make this uh, this one right here. We're going to make it yellow so that we know which one's which. And we're going to turn off that. Turn on allow team touch. Don't turn on allow team touch. I'm just doing this for the tutorial. Make sure allow team touch and neutral are off. Uh, go ahead and set the team color. And now we're going to do the same thing but with sheriff's office. So go ahead and find the sheriff color, reddish brown. Again, uh, scroll down. Do not disactivate or do not activate allow team touch. I'm only doing that for tutorial purposes. Disable neutral, and then find that color. I'm looking for reddish brown. There we go. All right, and I'm also going to put that in the actual color. You don't have to do that either, but just for our purposes. So if we join in, we should be on the Civ team. Alright, yep, we're on the Civ team, and we have the phone. Every player on every team should have the phone. You have your dial, so you put up the number of the player profile ID. Emergency, you type in a bunch of stuff. You can do fire, police, medical, roadside assistance, and directory, like I said, doesn't work. So, that's that. Um, as you can see, nothing popped up for the radio, so we're going to move over to the sheriff's team. We're going to reset. After we have reset, this insert your call sign would come up. You put in your call sign and click submit. And we have the radio. So you, the Z is the active and inactive. As you can hear, um, there's a sound for that. It does work. Um, I do not have. Uh, so as you can see, I've typed all that in there. You can also change your channel TAC1, TAC2, Prism, FD. You can change your channel. Um, and then you can also become available, busy, or off duty. Um, like You can move these around if you'd like. You cannot move the radio one. But like I said, it doesn't really actually close. It just happens like that. So, Yep, so it all works. And let me give you an example. So we'll open up the phone GUI here. If I type in uh, an emergency, insert location, click police. It comes up right here. You click open, you can claim it, you can clear it, and you can see there's max units and everything on that. So that's how that works. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't edit it perfectly. Um, I'm kind of in a rush just to get another video out. Um, yeah, I hope this helped you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day or night.